Welcome to Tammyosity. I'm Tammy, and today I'm making some shirts for our vacation. We are going to be taking a vacation during fall, so I wanted to have some fall themed shirts for our trip. And the transfers I'm using are the it's the Autumn Leaves collection, and I'm using Chalkology ink in the colors of Shimmer Gold, Bark, Orange Peel, and a little Candy Apple Red. So all the shirts that I got, they have a ribbed fabric, a, rib, a ribbed texture. This one here is kind of a corduroy texture, very, very light corduroy. So I was really concerned about having the transfers stick down into the texture so that the ink doesn't bleed through. And I've been putting it off all week long because I just was so worried that it wouldn't work. And I was like, oh, why did I buy these shirts? Um, so you can see the little acorn over in the corner. That was my test to make sure that it worked. And when I peeled up that acorn transfer and I saw how cute it turned out, oh my God, I was so excited. I couldn't wait to get started on my shirts. So I'm going to be making three different shirts here. They all go together, but they're all very different. No, not very different. Okay, they all go together and they're all a little different. <laughs> so these are the shirts that I made. I used the Cricut scraper to get these transfers down into the texture and it worked out really well. So you really got to scrape them down and then I also pushed them down with my fingers. I just wanted to make sure that it was really down in there and I didn't have any bleed underneath the transfer. This is the first shirt that I started working on and as I go through the shirts, you're going to see that I kind of changed my technique a little bit. So I wanted the colors to blend. I didn't want to have these hard lines from the little squeegee. So first I started with a plastic glove to get the ink to blend. And then um, it just kind of worked out that if you leave the last color on your squeegee and just run that last color over the entire transfer, you get a natural blend without having to mess around with the glove and, and just working it in that way. So you'll see that my, my, tech, my technique did change as I went along on all three of these shirts. And as I go along with the shirts, I wanted to have a lot of leaves that kind of are close together. So what I had to do is when I peel up these transfers here, then I need to set them with the press. So with the Chalkology ink, once you get the ink down, you have to go back and you're either going to run an iron over it or a heat press. I have a Cricut heat press. So I, I have to let the ink dry. I used, a, I used a dryer on it. Anyway, I dried the ink, pressed it, and then once it's sealed with the press, I can go back and add more leaves and not have to worry about the next transfer pulling up that ink. So now I'm on to the next shirt and you can see how this shirt is also ribbed. Um, the color isn't coming up as well, but it's a, a pretty kind of a mauvey, pinky kind of a shirt. And the fall colors really look good on top of the color of this shirt here. So again, I'm using the Cricut scraper, um, sometimes even using the other end of the scraper, the handle side, because it's kind of rubber. That actually really works well too with the um, plastic transfer. It, does that make sense? So it kind of works that you don't stretch out the transfer. Anyway, <laughs> I was using both ends of the Cricut scraper on purpose. It wasn't like I picked it up wrong. and didn't know what the heck I was doing. I was doing that on purpose. The first shirt, the colors I was using was the orange pill and bark. And on this shirt, I'm adding red. And it real, like I said, it really pops with that pink colored shirt. So that first color that you saw there, that was the candy apple red. Now I'm using the orange pill. And then I'm going to add bark. And on that acorn leaf there, I'm adding a little bit of shimmer gold as well.
I've mentioned a lot in these videos where I'm working with Chocotor that what I love about the Chocology paste is that if you mess it up, you can just erase it and do it again. With Chocology ink, that is not the case. <laughs> if you mess it up, you've you've got a mess. That's it. I don't know how you're going to fix it, but that was my worry with these shirts because it, when using ink, if it didn't work on the ribbed fabric, I've completely ruined a brand new shirt. And I'm just so, so happy that it worked. And you'll see at the end, these shirts turned out really great. Oh, I kind of forgot. I also used Chocology ink in the color of Dune. This is the only spot that I used that color. So like I said, the shirts are all, um, they all kind of go together, but they're all different too. And the branch is in Chocology ink black velvet. And I didn't mention that at the beginning either. So yeah, I ended up using five different colors in this project. This fall, we're going to New York City. I've wanted to go my entire life. I finally get to go. I'm so excited. We've got tours scheduled already, and uh, I just can't wait to go. And then when we're done in New York, we're going to take a drive up to Maine, too, and the leaves will be changing then. And, of course, it'll be like I'm wearing those leaves on my clothes. I just can't wait to go. So you see how the transfers are laying on top of the first leaves that I did? That's why I took the heat press to them so that it doesn't pull up that ink or even smudge it and smear it. It's pressed in, I don't have to worry about that. I could have sworn I hit record when I did this one. I did not hit record. So that is just one color in the shimmer gold. Now we started this shirt. It was the bottom corner that we started. Now we're working at the top corner. If you're into shirt making and you're using a die cut machine like a Cricut, which I do use, don't get me wrong, I do like the Cricut. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with it. Anyway, if you like making shirts like that and what you don't like about the Cricut is that you're using an iron on and it doesn't stay, oh, you know, you wear a shirt for a couple of years. I know that sounds like a long time, a couple of years, you're definitely getting your money's worth, but after a couple of years, the uh, iron on peels off. And so when you do a screen print like this, when you have a chocotor transfer with a screen print, it does, there's no peeling off. This shirt is going to last you way more than a couple of years. And that is what I really love about working with chocotor and the chocology ink.
I probably have more fall decorations than I have Christmas decorations, which kind of makes sense. I mean, if you bring out your fall decorations the first day of fall, which is the end of September, and it stays up all the way through Thanksgiving, that's two months that you're looking at your decorations, whereas Christmas stuff is only less than a month. Anyway, so <laughs> when I bring out my fall decorations, I have all these pumpkins. I buy a new pumpkin every year, a different style pumpkin. So I have a pumpkin patch every year with my fall decor. And here they are, they're all done. They have all been heat pressed and ready to go, safe to wash, wear over and over again. You can see that they are all kind of different, but they all also go together. I can wear the long sleeve shirt on top of the other shirts and the, they will all look like they were meant to be worn together. I can't wait to wear these. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'm so happy I can share my projects with you and I can't wait to show you what I do next.